Hello and welcome. Real estate plays an important part in China's economy and it's always a matter of curiosity for economies from outside to understand how the real estate industry is doing in China. But more than that, there are some very interesting firms and we're lucky to be with Wang Shi, chairman and founder of China, Wang Ke, the world's largest residential home developer by sales revenue and China is pioneer in home construction. Uh, uh, Mr. Wang Shi, thank you very much for speaking with us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you about China a little later, but let me ask you about some of the interesting things that you've been doing, uh, like climbing the seven summits and uh, also going to the North Pole and the South Pole. What made you do that? Uh, that uh, I'm a, a fan of the door adventure, and uh, I prefer climbing the snow mountain. Mm -hmm. It began in 1999, mm -hmm. and uh, then, uh, one after another. That the uh, beginning of 2002, at that year, I climbed uh, two mountains. One that uh, King Manjaro, another that the McKinley, Mount McKinley in North America. And so, uh, can I ask you one question? Yeah. How did you find the time? Mm, oh, <laughs> that's the. Um, Many people ask, uh, ask me the same questions. Yeah. That uh, I began in climb the mountain that 1999, at the same, uh, same year, mm -hmm. and resigned as a CEO. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, uh, I got a lot of uh, time, and uh, that the because I'm not as the CEO. Okay. And uh, as uh, you know, as the uh, Company, that the new company that uh, in China had a lot of com and that uh, opportunities. So normally, as the founder and as the CEO, as the chairman, we had no time uh, to do other things, uh, only the business. Uh, for me, I believe as the uh, health uh, business model, you are not uh, only de mm -hmm. depend on yourself. You have to depend. Uh, Team. Mm. That's my opinion. So I think that uh, to build a uh, team, that then play important role, then much more important uh, than an uh, important role. So that's uh, my opinion. That year, I, I was young, that uh, 48, 48 year old, uh, I resigned as CEO. And, uh, separated me with uh, my company. Okay. So I began. Uh, uh, yes, began. Right. To my mountain. And and around the same time, you also went to Harvard, yeah. uh, and uh, you went back to school or went to school in in a manner of speaking. Yeah. So what prompted you to do that? Uh, that's uh, four years ago. I was at Harvard uh, University invited me to as a business scholar. So I think that uh, okay, a good opportunity for me. That so I accept the um, invite and uh, went to Harvard. But uh, for me, it's a difficult that uh, language. Uh, not something if compared to China and India. As uh, that my collo colleagues in India, they, they are very familiar and mature. The English language. Yeah. And I read that you taught yourself uh, English uh, when you were in Harvard. So that uh, before that, uh, I, I can read, mm. can write, mm. but uh, very difficult uh, listening and speaking. So that uh, for first year, that is very very difficult, very very hard. So sometimes uh, the house, uh, like a uh, apartment, uh, uh, is the home uh, homework. Sleep until next morning, three, even to four a.m. So that uh, beginning the class at uh, a thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. so even not enough for time to sleep. That's a very hard. But that unfortunately, uh, that uh, it's already fast. Right. So tell us about uh, uh, chi uh, China and real estate. I mean, I mean, we all know that it contributes a large part to the overall economy, and China has seen an unprecedented construction boom uh, in the last couple of decades. 
Uh, so has India in a much smaller way, though. Uh, uh, what what's what's happening today? Is is there too much construction? Uh, are prices too high? Uh, is there any uh, is there a likelihood of prices coming down? That um, as you mentioned, uh, that uh, now that uh, China's uh, at uh, property at uh, industry. What uh, about the future? What about the mm. that the price, mm. right? That uh, that price uh, like a little bit high, and uh, also that bubble that uh, now it has to has to be fixed and uh, um, be careful. But as the whole that uh, China the economy also growing also slow down. And uh, but that a, a lot of opportunity, also the that uh, crisis. So how to be careful? That um, from my own point of view, that uh, in China that uh, only fifty percent population that uh, live in city, otherwise that uh, other half so still live rural in China. Yeah, in rural China, and uh, normally. Average at one percent that immigrate from uh, rural to city every year, but uh, that the progress is still on the way. I think uh, for next uh, at least seven seven years that opportunities for that uh, property industry, but be careful because the um, the, the price. Of a house, or some uh, big uh, cities, uh, their uh, price too high. And and do you see uh, the government, for instance, intervening more, or if not the government, let's say, do you see interest rates going up further, uh, or make uh, making it more difficult for, let's say, people to buy buy more than one property? I mean, do you see those kind of things happening, which might cool the market? Uh, that uh, because that. Uh, that the market uh, that growing very quickly, and uh, more and more customers uh, prefer uh, buying uh, property, so so the price of that problem higher and higher. So our central government, uh, I I think that the past ten years, uh, central government public uh, different uh, already public different policy, they express the price. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, uh, not emphasizing that price high and high so high. And uh, since the last year, that uh, price uh, growing not uh, as quick quickly as before. Uh, that a very interesting thing or is not because the policy that uh, began the emphasizing that because that uh, other policy. That uh, that uh, have take uh, took against the corruption. That's a very interesting thing, because this uh, policy that influenced the market. So that, uh, in my opinion, that the policy that uh, against the pollution that influences that uh, that uh, property the market. Very interesting. Because that uh, that the corruption money a lot of uh, that uh, through the, the property mm -hmm. and also that uh, that got the money from corruption also uh, buy the property. So uh, when they take the action against the uh, take the that. Uh, at the moment against the corruption, so very interesting influence that the property market. And, so and that's a lesson for India as well. I think if the Indian mm -hmm. government were to, you know, be uh, more strict on corruption, yeah. uh, particularly at the lower yes, levels, the of government, that, yeah. that the you might pull the property market yes. because a lot of black money may not. Uh, uh, yes, also as uh, you mentioned, the market, right? That's uh, nearly similar. Similar. Right. So you're also now uh, expanding outside. Uh, you're going to other countries uh, uh, like the U.S. 
uh, other parts of Asia. Uh, so what makes you look at other markets now? Uh, I'm uh, go abroad uh, in America and uh, in UK, and not uh, for business. I'm only as a business guy, because as a uh, China think that as a culture, the mm -hmm. uh, that the huge different. So that uh, I uh, I've been there, and uh, mainly for learning not uh, for the business, business. Uh, but uh, that two years ago our company began to invest uh, in America. And Singapore and UK? Uh, yes, uh, that uh, Singapore, Hong Kong and uh, America's um, market. Uh, for my company, the mainly that we invest abroad uh, for three purposes. One, that the learning, mm -hmm. because the learning is a mature market as a developed country. Mm. Uh, I believe that uh, for not more in more time, uh, in China, some uh, cities, something uh, like uh, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Beijing, at a closed mature market. And the uh, upcoming uh, strategy that forced uh, go forth a stamp to learn how to manage, how to operate mature market. Then and. Uh, and bring those learnings yeah, back yes, to, China. to China. That yeah. was the purpose. Right. Uh, second, uh, that the uh, balance and uh, risk. As uh, you mentioned, uh, that what about the high price of a um, house? That uh, risk, that bubble. Who know? Why? <laughs> Why of the day that that um, bubble? So maybe next two years. Next three years, no. Mm, so how to prepare for that? That yes. So that uh, invest uh, uh, more. That balance that uh, risk. So that uh, for our uh, <coughs> our cu customers, because of more and more of the upper class uh, families now in China, that are that choice that uh, immigrate abroad, and mainly America. Mm. And the UK and the Australia, that our that for So are you in some ways you're tri uh, targeting the same Chinese uh, market or the Chinese immigrant market in these countries? Or what what do uh, you mean? Would you target Chinese uh, overseas Chinese in uh, the, in the, the US and? Uh, but uh, yes, that uh, for uh, for my company the mainly that invest uh, mm. also the in mainland China, but that the. the you balance that risk, so uh, you must uh, abroad. Then the fourth stamp, maybe three years later, and uh, invest not only in developed countries, also invest uh, abroad uh, in right. the market, uh, including India and um, Brazil and uh, South Africa, something like that. Okay, that's interesting. And last question. So you've already. Uh, climbed seven mountains and reached both the poles. So what's the next big challenge? Uh, for me, that um, before I, I climbed the Mount Everest twice and uh, on, on my planning that uh, prepared to climb the Mount Everest uh, again mm -hmm. and uh, even the I, my my age mm. will be seventy years old, mm. but uh, uh, when I went to Harvard, I decided give up. And why? Because that uh, in camps I failed climb the mountain in campus. Of course, in Cap there are no mountain. <laughs> that means there's a knowledge mountain. Mm. I failed to climb the knowledge mountain, a little bit difficult, then climb the physical mountain. Okay. And then compared. <laughs> uh, why you sure is the easier still that um, mountain to climb? So I gave, gave up climb the Mount Everest again. But you're focused on the next I knowledge mountain. No, no, yes, uh, that's a knowledge, knowledge mountain. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you.